today's episode of Real Life Adventures, JC and Tucker are fishing their home waters of Marathon in the Florida Keys. The boys are joined by their friend, Drank, the target African pompano on the deep racks. The boys also fish near the Seven Mile Bridge for several shark species in hopes to tag a few for the NOAA Shark Tagging Program. I look good, I feel good. Boys are locked and loaded for a day of fishing in Marathon with their pal Drake Daniels. On the way to the first spot, the boys run across a giant school of Jack Cravalls. Jack Cavalls just pulled up. JC put us on the school of Breaker Birds right over here. They were spraying everywhere and we just got a culture. Threw it in the school so I got tight. JC got tight, I got tight. Oh yeah. They're feeding on ballyhoos. Oh, yeah. Jack Creval are a coastal species of jack. They aren't the best table fare, but they are one of the hardest fighting fish caught in Florida's inshore waters. With a bait well full of pilchards, the boys head offshore for some bottom fishing. That's a good mark. Go on back. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> bro, we are not ready, bro. Bro, today you want to? in there first. Nice. If I was in there first, bro, bro, that might think that. Now you're just twisting it up even more. Bro, bro. Bro, mine? Mine. Alright, boy. I'll go back around. <laughs> bro, if it ain't one thing. Oh my god. I'm disappointed. I know one thing I thought these was better than that. Come on, man, I want an AP. That's what we want right there. Yeah, Dake. Yes, sir. You got 50 on there, you can tighten it a little bit. 
That was the first run we wanted, though. That first run was a good run. Like an African palm canoe. Look at it, it was just love. Drake and one to get tight. Get them tight, baby. Is that our boy, Drake? I can't tell you. I'm hoping. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a good one, Cap. Coming around to you, John. I think it's one we're looking for. It I think it was right sick. It made that first big run. I think it's our diamond girl. Ooh, diamond girl. Diamond's dancing. Drake, are you getting worked or are you working him? Well, we're about average. He's running away from that Goliath. I think that was his last run right there. What is it? I don't know. I think it's my diamond girl, baby. <laughs> it is. It is the AP boy. I see it taking her spin. That boy, Draco. Taking her spin. Taking her spin. Get the gap. Get the gap. Get the gap. Oh yeah, brother. Get the gap. Get the gap. You got it. You got it. Get the boat. Get the gap. Get the gap. Get the gap. Oh no. Hey, AP boy. Oh yeah. That's what we want here. You ooh, go, Drake. Ooh, diamond girl. My boy Drake, third drift, second drift. Told him, get ready, drop. You're about to get hooked up. What do you know? It he drops down as soon as he hits the bottom. Nice 25 pound African, 30 pound African. Probably say 20, 25. It's a good fish right now. I'll take these all fish. day. Oh, yeah. Look at him. First drop on the pilt. Okay. Those runs, that was just an AP run. Classic. Classic AP run. There ain't nothing like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hear that drag scream. Oh, yeah. Always nice. What a beautiful fish, eh? Let's put them in the cooler. Let's put them in the box now. Unlike its cousin, the Jack Creval, the African Pompano is one of the best eating fish found in the Florida Keys. This morning we got on a hell of a Jack Revell bite. It was so crazy. There was like 10 frigate birds going there. There was tons of bass, thousands of crevasses. Thought it was gonna be going off up there to the east, but it is what it is. Couldn't find a sail. Had to recoup and drop for some buttons, APs, and we got a nice African pompano, which is a cool bonus. And other than that, we just had fun. All right, boy, let's go home and cook up this African. Heck yeah, let's do it. Should be good. The boys head back to Isla Bella Beach Resort, clean their day's catch, and head to Lazy Day's Restaurant for a fresh fish meal. We just got back to the dock, flaying this bad boy up. Gonna go take him to Lazy Day's, cook him up. Get some fresh fish for dinner. You got that good juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good. Lazy Days is a local favorite, serving signature fish dishes with Angler's Fresh Catch and fresh ingredients. All right, so today, me and Tucker had this bright idea to say, let's come out here and catch some sharks. Have a good time with a few sharks. So we had a couple of frozen macros in the freezer. And now we're out here by seven mile, hitting up these flats and seeing what's going on. See if we can't catch some lemon sharks, maybe a bull shark, some cool black tip. We're already seeing them jump around in the back there. So just gonna come out here, put a couple of macros out and see what happens. See if we can't catch a shark, pull on something big. We also have these tags, these shark tags for Noah. And what we're doing is we're gonna catch these sharks, tag them, 
We're gonna figure out where they move, how they move, and Noah does this for conservational and science purposes, and they just wanna help sharks. Yeah, we on! Got a shark on, boys. On a mackerel. Got one on. Got him on, running. Whoa, what is that? Get him, dog. Yeah. Oh, he's coming on the surface. All right, so we got something big on here. And who knows what a big nurse shark. Yeah. Big old nurse shark. We had to put out a mackerel. And then a big old gummy bear comes by. Bloody. Trying to tail, boys. So we're gonna tail rope it, and then we're gonna measure it, you know, and get the, come meter it, get the tag on it. Oh my God, Gordo. Monster. Oh yeah. All right, big nursey. Hold on, hold on. Let me hold him right there. Tail rope, tail rope. You gotta grab his tail. Pull it up. Grab it. I ain't got any Kareem Abdul Jabbar! You gotta watch it. There, there it is. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> you want me to tie it off? Yeah. Oh! 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 oh. oh. All right, let's tag him real quick. Here, here, you gotta measure him. All right, we gotta measure him, JC. There he is, eight feet. Eight feet. Eight feet, I'm serious. Next to his fin. There he is. Did I get it? No. That's why I was telling you, you gotta hold it against him. Yeah. I did, look, it bent. No! We didn't even get the tag, bro. I untangled it. The thing's freaking bent. Yeah. Didn't get no tag. Yeah. <laughs> Lost the whole wire. Broke everything, cut me up. God damn. For the nurse shark boy. All that for, for the freaking nurse, nurse shark. shark. Well, <sighs> let's try again. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Good guy. You grab it. Then you do you I still grab to him. Oh. Yeah, so you know, I've been here since like 10 o'clock. You know, we hooked a hooked up to a couple couple sharks. A few, you know, I, I, more than a couple. I, I whipped off a couple. Uh, JC, he whipped off like 10. No, no, and, uh, no, no. We caught one, and then now we just got that one right there. It broke off, you know, <laughs> we're trying to get in the boat, trying to get a tag on it, but, you know, JC couldn't grab it or do anything. Grabbed it three times, you know, then he finally spit the hook. And, you know, it's been a long day. <laughs> a long day. But, you know, we're gonna keep trying. See how it goes. The Cooperative Shark Tagging Program is a collaborative effort between recreational anglers, the commercial fishing industry, and NOAA Fisheries to learn more about the life history of Atlantic sharks. The data collected helps to understand stock structure, migration patterns, population, age and growth rates, behavior, and mortality. Got him. Oh, he's mad. Got another nurse. I can't grab his tail. Why oh, you so feisty, dang? <laughs> oh my god! Get the tail Oh yeah, so now. We're gonna measure him, see how long he is. And he is a good five foot one. Yeah. You think that thing's gonna pop out? I don't think so. All right. Got the hook out. Got the tag in. Now let's let him go, boys. Yo! There he goes. Oh! Oh, he whacked me, boy. Ooh. Finally, bro, we got a tag in. We got the tag in for research. Mission accomplished. So now let's go home and eat some food, right? Yeah, I'm down. After a long day of shark wishing. Shark wishing. Finally got one. Yo, Ooh. we had an awesome day out here, shark fishing. Took sun up to sun down. Had a good old time. Me and Doug. And get to watch this beautiful sunset now. And some dinner. All right, so here, after you got the tag on the fish, you gotta come grab your paperwork, and all it is, it's just telling you the total length, the weight, the male, female, when the next person who catches it can figure out where it was, where it's been swimming, where it was before, and it's gonna be cool to figure out where this shark has been swimming around. And just write your species, you got a nurse, shark, Seven mile bridge. And the weight I'd say was 55 pounds. 55 pounds. And then I could tell it was a male because it had the claspers on the bottom of it. You just can check off the male tackle, circle, hook, Captain J. C. And that's it. So all you gotta do is put a little, a little information on this paper and it'll just let them know where you caught it, how big it was when you caught it, and then whenever you catch it, that tag will still be in there and you can find out where he's been and what he's been doing. All apparel worn on this episode can be found on reallifegear.com. Join us on the next episode of Real Life Adventures.